Hi everyone. Today we've got a demo for you on harmonic elimination. So for our setup, we've got a voltage source, we've got an oscilloscope, and we've got an inverter. Now this is a full bridge inverter, and so it's got four switches, which we see right there. And we've connected a probe to its output voltage so we can take a look. All right, so to get started, we're going to increase our input voltage to about 15 volts. And we'll start our switching. Now, if we take a look at the oscilloscope, this green waveform is our output voltage. We can see the full bridge inverter is using its three levels to create what resembles a sinusoid. And down here at the bottom, we're taking a look at the FFT of this waveform. So that's going to enable us to see each of the harmonics making up this signal. And right away, we see a large spike at 600 hertz. That's our switching frequency, and so that's our first harmonic. And we know because we've got half wave symmetry in here that we're not going to have any even harmonics. But if we use our cursor and take a look, we see our second spike occurs at 2.9 kilohertz. So that's pretty close to our fifth harmonic. Now, uh, what that means then is we've got no third harmonic. So if you were to imagine what a third harmonic would look like um, for this waveform, you would find that its integral actually cancels. And so we've got no third harmonic. Now we could also eliminate the fifth harmonic by introducing a notch in each side of this waveform. So it's still symmetric. And so when we do that, we see we can completely eliminate that fifth harmonic. Now it makes our seventh harmonic and perhaps higher order harmonics a little bit higher in magnitude, but that's okay. We can filter those out more easily. And we can take that one step further then and eliminate our seventh harmonic. Now, as you might imagine, this does add complexity um, in terms of controlling the switches with exact timing. It also increases the switching frequency or the effective switching frequency for the switches. Um, they're switching on and off multiple times per cycle. But if we eliminate these lower order harmonics, it means we only have to filter these higher frequencies. Higher frequencies are a lot easier for us to filter. Um, we can use smaller filter components, which means smaller converters, which is better for our applications and often costs less. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much.